What's going on guys, this is Peter here and today we are focusing on Zernalum Fast Food and his company. This is a spider farm which was quite popular like a decade ago and even though we have better ones nowadays, this one is also worth some time and attention, at least for the nostalgia. I will combine my solo boss farm series and the solo farm guides this time. The first 2 or 3 minutes of this video is only about the boss, but after we are going to jump into the old school farm thing. So first thing first, Zernalun is a ranger boss who is located in the flat plain of Mankelon, pretty close to Rilon Refuge. When you reach his spot all the spiders are hidden, but they pop up in big numbers. Luckily their build is shit, poison, bleeding, some bow attacks and that's all. Hence why this form was popular back in 2007 or 8, when there were only shitty builds available for the players. Anyway, you can farm the boss tons of different ways, but in my opinion the fastest of all is done by an elementalist using sliver armor. I managed to do boss only runs in 57-58 seconds, so sub 1 minute is definitely possible. Let's say you want his green bow or an elite ranger tomb so badly, you should do the following, grab a paragon hero with the usual speed boosts and after the reason trick use Balthazar spirit, micro enduring harmony on you and make haste on your char and flag the hero at the first group. If you have at least two speed boosts on you, the mobs will not follow you even in hard mode. Now simply run to the spot which is just at the stone bridge and after that all the spiders appear and if you turn 180 degrees the boss is right behind you. Keep up protective spirit and stone flash aura, this way you are basically invincible, go close to the boss put down the Ebon Ward, activate Glyph and Sliver Armor, and enjoy the yellow numbers, which are increasing exponentially since more and more spiders will be attacking you. At last you will finish him, pick up the drops and type slash resign. So this is how to kill the boss quickly and now let's see his stats after 200 runs, 4 Elite Ranger Tomes, 17 Green Bows and some scrolls, Anids and Gold Coins. He's a bit of a mediocre in both green drops and elite drops, not too good, not too bad either. And now let's focus on the whole group and take a look at this list. Uh, there are basically two different ways of farming here. The first is the shadow step method. You need two skills for that, shadow of haste and a cancel stance. And when you are doing the running phase and see this weird looking figure, um, then activate shadow of haste and this stance will teleport back you to this exact same spot when it ends. So in order to make this work we need a second stance, it can be dash or any other stance, just make sure to use it when the spiders pop up. If this is done correctly you shadow step out of the danger zone and all you have to do is wait like 20 seconds and the spiders are ready to farm. Then just aggro them with a bow or with a staff, go behind the cliff and you can farm them in safety. Unfortunately not all professions can use this method, assassin secondary limits our choices much and in my opinion only ranger, asa, mesmer, necro and ellie should be farming like this, all the other characters should do the classic uh, aggro foes and stay their tactic. But before I show you all my fancy builds, a few notes regarding this farm, uh, a full run takes around 1 minute and 45 seconds if you are a pro, if you are not probably around 2.5 minutes. And as far as I've noticed, the enemy numbers change, sometimes I killed 17, sometimes only 15 or 16. Um, but anyway, most common drops are spider webs, which contain silk, if you salvage them. And I identified gold items like uh, lotus shields, and I even got a fiery dragon sword once. Uh, ranger tomes, both regular and elite ones. And the boss will also drop scrolls, and that's it. And now let's see how we can make this farm faster. These are general tips, but work for each and every character. Tip number one, this is obvious, bring a paragon hero. I can't emphasize this one enough, you can save like 15 seconds or more with increased movement speed. Tip number two, range your hero support. This is an additional way to decrease the farming time. Most of the builds can kill the spiders fast, but the boss has a lot of HP and killing him takes much, much longer. To solve this problem, you can bring a ranger hero with edge of extinction, this is a great skill to deal hundreds of damage. Place the spirit somewhere at the same spot where you would start the shadow of haste trick and when the small spiders die, the boss will die as well. Tip number 3 is only for warriors, paragons and monks. Uh, this is basically give the ranger hero brambles. 
These characters cause knockdowns with their elite skill and the spirit triggers each time a knockdown happens. So this is extra damage and bleeding for the spiders. Alright guys, let's go one by one starting with the Mansion 3, so Warrior, Punk and Paragon first. These three classes have the exact same 55 or 105 HP build with some modifications. After entering the area use Balthazar Spirit, flag the Parahero at the mobs and use Fallback, Incoming and Make Haste. Flag the Ranger Hero at this spot and micro the two nature rituals on her. Then cross the bridge and maintain protective spirit, shielding hands, absorption and healing breeze through the battle and when the spiders are balled up, aggro and move to the direction of the spirit. When they are close enough, activate shield of judgment, radiation field and put pain inverter on the boss. It only takes a few hits and the small spiders die and the spirit will kill the boss as well. Now warrior's point of view, obviously less damage than from the monks, but the same results. Paragons now, same build, same results. So this is it guys, a monk secondary build which works for everyone, even for warriors and paragons. And now let's move and continue with rangers. For rangers whirling is always at hand when you got to destroy ranged foes. Do the shadow of haste trick, wait for the bowling process, aggro and hide behind the wall. Then activate shroud of distress, great war weapon, shadow form and hex the boss with pain inverter. Then use whirling, go close to the spiders and use shadow sanctuary. If you have brought EOE, the whole group dies all at once. And in case the boss survives with some very low HP, you can kill him with, with the Expertise Sword or pop a Legionnaire and let him finish the job. Top tier build, one of the fastest of all. Moving on, Dervish this time. Dervs can rely on low HP, prot skills and wow strength. No shadow step here, just cross the bridge and maintain prot spirit, shielding hands and absorption again. Use Mystic Regen to counter the degen and wait for the spiders. When all ready, aggro and ball the group like I do. When the ball is ready, go to melee range, put down the ward, use wow, strength and spike. I think this is another great way to complete the farm. This might not be the fastest, but a decent build for sure. The next one is Mesmer. This is the one I've done in my 100 full runs and for a good reason. It has great damage, fast spikes and very reliable. Visions of Regret and Arcane Echo does a pretty good job and since the spiders use skills very frequently, they die after a few seconds. Cry of Pain and Unnatural Signet deals even more AoE damage and for the boss you can bring Empathy and other skills or just bring a Ranger Hero and let EoE do the job. For Assassins I used almost the same build, War again, Domination Magic Bar, a bit less DPS than the Mesmers but their build does the job properly. Moving on, Necros and Spiteful Spirit. This is another super build for the farm. Use Awaken the Blood for even higher ranking curses and hex the enemies with SS, Suffering and use Necroses uh, with Price of Failure on the boss. Use a second set of SS and that's it. Pick up the drops and you can do it again. Ritualists come now, use Retribution and Balthazar Spirit at the beginning of the run, uh, then cross the bridge and stay on the far side. Maintain Prot Spirit and Spirit Bond meanwhile and aggro the boss group when all the spiders arrive. Put down the ward for a higher chance for half skill recharge and use the elite as often as you can. In case you would not get the half skill recharge, you can use Absorption when the item spell wears off. Pain Inverter is only for the boss, great damage and an entertaining build. Elementalist's best AOE elite is probably Searing Flames in this case. Put down the Ebon Ward and start grilling the spiders. Use the elite on recharge and if your energy is low, you can get back some with Glowing Gaze and AOE will help with the boss. There you have it guys, Zernelum Fast Food Farm. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and see you next time.